Now, they twinkle and they shoot across the sky too. Well, now, apparently, stars can sing. Tonight, NASA is launching a mission to look for planets around the stars closest to us and capture their vibrations, which can be turned into sounds. This will help researchers identify their size and age. Our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh, reports now from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The night sky is littered with stars. They shine and they also sing. These are the vibrations of a distant star, similar to our sun, converted into sound. And this is another, much bigger and older star. Professor Bill Chaplin is analysing these sounds. Of course, there's no air in space, so the stars can't actually be heard. But they do vibrate and so generate sound waves. And Professor Bill Chaplin has discovered that each star has its own song, depending on how big and hot it is. When we hear the sounds of the stars, first of all, it tells us that out of, if you like, this, this turbulence, this almost chaos, we get these ordered sounds. And it's incredible that you know stars resonate just like a musical instrument. And this gives us a way to actually study stars and see what their insides look like in a way that is just not possible by other means. This will be the first mission to scan nearly the entire sky, sector by sector. The sound a star makes will tell scientists how big and how hot it is. Many of them will have planets in orbit around them. Some will be too close. Those that are the right distance away will be the ones most capable of supporting life in what scientists call the Goldilocks zone, where the temperature is just right. George Ricker is the mission's lead scientist. He believes that one day it might be possible to send probes to some of these distant worlds and see if there really is life out there. There are about a hundred stars that lie within uh, uh, one w within 20 light years of Earth and if you were to send out an armada of probes to those and you can basically get up to speeds of say 20 percent of the speed of light then in the, under those circumstances, you could expect to reach these uh, planets within a, a hundred years. In a few years' time, we'll know how each of the stars in the night sky sound and whether the planets around them might harbour life. Palab Ghosh, BBC News, at the Kennedy Space Centre in Florida. Prince Harry has spoken 